Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? That was awesome. <laughs> so, you guys having a good day here at DevNet Create? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Today we're going to do a few things. Is we're, we're going to go through a few topics over here. Part of the middle will be getting your feedback on the day. Um, and so get ready. Give us your feedback. Give us your thoughts. You know, we'll be calling on you for all of that. Uh, we're also going to be giving out some kit, some more Meraki kit. And I know that many of you are out there earning your Meraki kit. Uh, but your award for being here is also being entered into a raffle to be able to, uh, to, be able to uh, win some of that as well. We can also give out some shirts. And uh, you need to join DevNet to be able to get your shirt. You can actually go to this link right here in order to do that. So please get in there and uh, And you have to, to win. join that to, to be in the, the giveaway right. as well. So. Exactly. Oh, OK. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so if you want to be entered into the giveaway for the Meraki stuff, you need to join as well. And then we'll show you the next step in, in a little bit. Excellent. <clears throat> cool. OK. So we actually wanted to introduce something new that we're doing over here at DevNet Create. And something that I talked about this morning is that it's really all about community, what we can do together as a team, what we can do together as an ecosystem. And one of our big goals for DevNet is to really look at the community contribution, to make all of you successful in the things that you're doing. And we're very thankful for the people who have been contributing to the DevNet community over the last few years that we've been in existence. And so what we're doing is we are introducing a new award, a new award called the DevNet Creator Award to award community contribution by many of you in our community. Those of you who are contributing never did it because you've expected to have any kind of award. Uh, you're doing it for reasons to help out the community and contribute in different ways. And what we'd like to do is tell you a little bit about how we went about determining who would be receiving this first set of DevNet Creator Awards. Cool. So we want this to be very specifically about contributions to the community. So when we looked at the criteria for these awards, we looked across things like contribution of sample code, uh, creation of learning labs or talks or workshops that people have delivered, and then also things like being there to answer questions in our forums and in our Spark Room and interacting with all the other developers who are using our platforms. We also looked at people who may be making uh, transitions with their skill set and really diving in and leading a new way in, in learning some new skills and then sharing that experience with our community. So the, the DevNet Creator Award spans all of these kinds of contribution to the community. And I think what we found is that everyone really contributes in multiple ways, and, and that's what makes our community so strong. So that's what we want to give some recognition to today, and also just sh show the gratitude that we have for you in putting that time and energy in to building the DevNet community. So, you guys cool. ready to hear about who won our DevNet Creator Award? First Let's ever. <laughs> and this, this will be a tradition we'll do every year at DevNet Create. We will continue to add to our DevNet creators. Let's do it. Excellent. Okay, cool. OK. So are you going to do the jacket over there, or you want me to do it with the thing? <laughs> we have too many pieces. OK. OK. I'll turn it. I'll bring it over afterwards. OK. So our first award goes to someone who I've spoken very openly about because he was with DevNet from the very beginning. I've actually called him my favorite DevNet developer. Uh, and he was with us when we had a smaller community. And as our community has grown, he still, and I'm sorry, no offense to anybody else, but he still remains as my favorite DevNet developer. Uh, Jose Bogarin uh, from Woo! Costa Rica, from Altus Consulting. Yeah. Come on, now, come on up. Jose has been very active. Congrats. From our very first awesome. DevNet zone. Where I get your thing. He was the guy who was, he is the guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jose is the guy who was in the audience of every talk, paying attention, listening to every word that was said. He was there to learn. 
And you know, when you're giving talks and running events, then it's really interesting to see like who is in there, how is he taking it in, really thinking through all of it. And he has grown with us. Uh, well, we have grown because of him. Jose has gone on to run DevNet Express events on his own across Latin America. Jose has been answering questions in our support room. He's been helping other people as they've been trying to pick up different technologies. He's revolutionized his business. And he's done so much for us. So Jose, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> here we have a beautiful DevNet jacket. I know that it's pretty warm in Costa Rica, but we hope you find opportunities. Thank you, awesome. thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. And uh, oh. here's his, uh, his yes. plaque right Black here and for Jose. And I think someone's taking switch. pictures. Are we looking at pictures? Yes. Yes. Oh, we got pictures. We got it? OK, thank cool. You. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> you, can, you don't have to stay. <laughs> thank you so much. OK, cool. The next one that we have is going to be so the next one, uh, our next award winner is Paul Giblin. He works at Presidio as a senior solution architect, and he's been pulling together collaboration solutions for our customers. You can come on up. How, thank you. How passionate is he about DevNet? He's a Cisco champion and a Spark master ambassador as well. You can find him at DevNet Express events, and he has been a presenter of DevNet Create, presenting workshops. And he packed this amazing bag of gear that you brought for your <laughs> workshop to present here. What, what all was in that? Three switches, <laughs> three or four Raspberry Pis, a couple of laptops, uh, portable hard drive. I think he... Anything I could plug in as a client to the lab. <laughs> I think he literally brought the Internet of Things in his suitcase and with him. <laughs> TSA did not stop me at the gate either. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you so Great. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Here's your plot. There you go. Excellent. Okay, so our next award winner is a student, and a student who came to DevNet Create last year from Holberton. Her name is Lisa Leon, and she has come, and Holberton is, uh, is, 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 is a place where what they're doing is they're teaching students how to get careers in programming. They actually don't accept money until after the student has gotten a job in industry. Uh, she can't be here tonight because she got a job. So I think she owes some money back, <laughs> but she'll be here tomorrow. And uh, after she came from to DevNet Create, she actually credits to getting into a career in DevOps because of what she had learned there. And since then, she's actually continued to participate actively by blogging for our community and sharing some of the different things that she's learned. So we give our DevNet Creator Award to Lisa. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Excellent. All right. Our next uh, award winner is Jeff Levensailer, and he is a senior consulting engineer at Presidio. You will see him. Come on up. <laughs> Turn around your thing. You will see him um, helping others in our developer support Spark Space, where he has answered many complicated questions, and it's been great to see that community support. And he recently wrote a node axle Cisco uh, library that combines our axle interface for UC and makes it accessible to Node.js developers. And we thought this was the coolest combination of you know, a, a traditional core Cisco technology with Node.js, which was super awesome. And it got 100 downloads on NPM in its first week, which we thought was a super cool statistic. So, Thank you for that ama amazing uh, sample code contribution, yeah, and, sure. and it's really helped a lot of people out. So, great. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> great. All right. Fantastic. Okay, and now for the fifth DevNet Creator Award. And here, what we have is another DevNet member who joined our community from the very first. DevNet Zone at Cisco Live. Uh, his name is Sam Womack. 
He's at WWT. Yeah. Come on up. And uh, what was remarkable about Sam is that he was so energetic in our very first DevNet zone. He was in there. He was hungry to learn. He was hungry to code. He came out there. He entered right into our hackathon, all excited. And then what happened was the next year he came back. And the next year he brought even more people from his company to enter in the hackathon. You guys won the hackathon. I remember that they were like, we're going to integrate every Cisco technology that we can into what we do. And they did it. And you guys won. And that was making a physical security application built on top of all of our uh, different uh, products and components and getting that going. And another very cool thing is that in the Node.js library that we were just talking about, oh. you made the first pull request and contributed into that too. <laughs> we thought that was a very cool community Thank you. interaction. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much. Awesome. Great work. All right. So thank you to all of you. And they get jackets, so nice DevNet jackets, as well as Meraki gear. I'm sure that they've already earned it themselves, but they also get another one that they can take home with them. Yes. Thank you all very much. We're super <laughs> excited. Excellent. Uh, next, what we want to do is actually just get feedback. So get feedback from all of you on how was your day today? Uh, you know, you've all been very active and engaged in workshops and in talks. Uh, it's been interesting. We want feedback, both constructive feedback. Uh, you know, what are your thoughts on the different things that you've uh, experienced today? Help us make DevNet create better, even if you have something better for us to do tomorrow yeah. as well. Or maybe <laughs> something new that you learned today, something that really stood out to you, uh, anything that you'd like to share with the group. And we've got people with mics. And so if you raise your hand, um, we'll actually be able to hear you. We'll bring the mic to you if you've got anything to say. Right. Anybody want to share some feedback with us? Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. So I like today's section uh, because uh, there are several sections. Uh, it's an industry used a lot, such as uh, um, microservice and uh, uh, Kubernetes. And also, my personal, I'm interested in the blockchain. Uh, so yeah. definitely, it's pretty good today. And also, the speech recognition, uh, face yeah. recognition, those are very good, too. So I like today's session. Oh, cool. great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. You covered a lot of sessions today. Yeah. A lot of topics. Busy. Excellent. Yep. Go ahead. I really like the workshops. There were a lot of hands on. I learned a ton in just one day. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Other thoughts? Feedback? Yes. So I really like the white hat, black hat um, thing. Uh, it was really crazy to see how easy it was to hack into all of these things. Um, and I also really liked the um, escape room that isn't actually an escape room, because it's just really cool seeing all of these things that you can interact with and like in action, basically. Well, Excellent. Um, and actually, can you just say your name and where you're from while you're oh. standing up? And we'll go back to our others so we can the community can get to know you. Yes. Yeah. So I'm Liz Magalinden, and I'm a student at Holberton School. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. Great. Thank you. And uh, can we get you to we'll share your name and company? So, or affiliation? Um, my name is Kamel. I have uh, a small startup, which is me and myself. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. <Great>. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. well, my name is Ai Ching Fang, and I'm from Cisco also. Cool. Excellent. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. Any other feedback from folks? And right over here. Over here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna cut across. And others, get ready. Get ready for your feedback. I'm Brandon from Unique Communications in uh, Henderson, Nevada. Um, I found uh, Anders Walgren to be very uh, insightful and helpful, um, looking into a lot of uh, changes to make to our dev teams. Uh, some feedback would be, um, I need some more power outlets to plug my laptop into. Okay. <laughs> I've Good. been all over and uh, can't find enough. So. OK. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Maybe two more? Feedback. 
Uh, my name is Dominic from the University of Utah. Uh, I really liked the workshops, but it was pretty loud in there, so it was hard to kind of focus on what they were saying, and I couldn't hear um, some of what they were saying, and there also weren't like enough headphones uh, to isolate the noise. Okay. So okay. Thanks. Good. Good feedback there. I know there were times when the workshops got so chatty, right? I mean, just there was so much energy and engagement, and so we need to work on that. Thank you. Um, yeah, we need to use the spark space better um, to uh, know what's going on. I, I think that's a good use we could have for it. This okay. is starting, that is starting, go there, go here. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. one thing I thought that's we good. could do. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, my name is Arturo Prieto. I'm coming from Cisco, Mexico. And um, this, this uh, workshop succeeded my expectations, really. And something important, I agree with the noise in the workshops and the outlets, I agree. And also we have the chance to record the sessions, the workshops. So there's so many people talking so fast and so many things to learn. So we can record the sessions or the workshops is going to be awesome. Would, would you be interested in if we took some of the selected workshops and did them as webinars after the event? So right. We could delve back in. Yeah. Would you something we can of force. interest? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Great. Great. Cool. Okay. Should we move Thanks. on to give Fantastic. Thank well, you. We're going to do more feedback tomorrow as well. So definitely uh, keep it coming and we'll have some more time to share. Tomorrow. Did you find today to be useful yeah. or valuable? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Great. Great. And so definitely keep the feedback coming. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Okay. So now to get on to our next part, which is we're going to do our giveaway. So uh, to once again get some. Meraki switches and gear that we're going to give out here. Uh, something that we did last year, for those of you who are here, was we're trying to figure out how should we do the giveaway? Um, how are we going to you know, collect up the different information? And what we did was some of our developers on our team had created a raffle app so that we could actually do some raffling. Yep. And uh, do you guys remember that? Some yeah. Of your... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the code was still around, I think, or yep. I don't know if they it's generated evolved it again. It's a little bit. It's but evolved. It's still, yeah. And so what we're going to do is have some raffling. And so uh, what we want to do is have you all go right here, devnetcreate.io slash 2018 slash raffle. Yeah, so you can go there on your mobile device, and um, you will use your devnet login that you hopefully created earlier. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is enter yourself in for a raffle. Right, you'll click the um, enter button. And we'll give you a few minutes to do that. And then. Right over here, minutes. you'll get to this page. Yep. Which will say enter raffle. Enter raffle. You can give us some eye contact when you've gotten to enter the raffle. <laughs> All right. Back to the URL. Okay, thank you. Good. DevNetCreate.io slash 2018 slash raffle. We're going to do this tomorrow. Okay. I'll tell them. I'm going to tell them that we're going to do that tomorrow. Is everybody in? All right. Everybody getting in? No. No? It's not loading. It's not loading. Okay. Well. It's what? Is it working? Is it works? Yeah. It works for some. Yeah. Is what? Keep trying. Okay. You only get to enter once. Yeah, see, it's very strict. <laughs> like, <laughs> only enter once. Okay. Okay. Are we all set? Is everybody in? No. Nope. One more minute. We we will have more chances tomorrow as well. So um, you can try both days. So you kind of can enter twice. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here we go. All ready right. Here draw. we go. So now we're gonna go over to the draw and we're gonna draw our winners. And the lucky ones. Chun Wang. Chun Wang, here we are. Congratulations. All right. Woo! Is that the only one? <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. awesome work. Um, yeah, we have another piece we need to give you, but we'll give it to you afterwards. Cool. <clears throat> All right, cool. OK, we're going to do another one. So you can go back and raffle again. Do you remember the link? Or do I have to give it to you again? Okay, devnetcreate.io 2018 slash raffle. Yep. We're gonna. 
Already entered. Okay, then you're uh -oh. good. You can just click draw again. Okay. Oh, I'll just keep drawing. drawing. Okay, keep so drawing. I just keep drawing because everybody answered. Yep. Is that right? Should be good. Okay, next. Here we go. Justin, Justin O'Sullivan. Sullivan. Woo! <laughs> There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And if you Thank win you. one, there's a card in there that helps you uh, register your Meraki gear and get started and get it set up. So look for that card in the power bag, power cord bag. All right, so next one. Okay, next one. Draw. Bruce Caslow. All right. Congrats. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Great gift for my wife. There you go. Because <laughs> he's already earned one. I know, I kind of want to win one for my kids. Excellent. Okay, next. All right. Steve Hilton. Hilton. Oh! <laughs> right here on the front row. Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Okay, and last one and our for last today. One here. The suspense. Rita Younger. Rita. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll have more chances to win tomorrow. And tomorrow we're doing computer history trivia since we're in the computer history, history museum. So get your thinking hats on, bring your best trivia game. So. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, cool. so thank you all for your great day today. We have more activities tonight. We're rolling into happy hour next. As we're in happy hour, we're gonna have some uh, time there, mix, mingle. I look forward to meeting more of you and you know, really, again, getting to that next level of teamwork, getting to know each other, sharing our dreams and aspirations. Uh, and then afterwards, we're gonna go out tonight and we're yep. gonna be out patio. on the patio for our after dark party. And then uh, we'll be there for uh, s'mores. S'mores, fire pits. And, and food. More food. And dinner. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you, everybody. Thanks so much. Take care. Oh, thank you very much. I will get the other one. Awesome. Hey, and where's our first?